Okay, kind of picking up from where we, we left off on the last introduction to shell video. This one is going to focus on a little bit more the uh, functionality of the terminal. So every in the previous video, I made mention that every device has a terminal. Uh, the one that I'm using it is in the BlackBerry device, but Windows, Mac, Unix, Linux, they all have a shell that does the exact same things. So in the last video, I created a file using the touch command. So I type touch, and then I did test. Uh, dot text and I created that file and then I use nano test and I'll use tab dot text here to load open the file and then make some edits to that file and then control O. Now that's the universal concept of the shell so uh, a lot of times when, when I view a computer system I kind of think of it like this there are multiple ways to create a file on that computer system you can create a uh, file using the GUI and with Windows, you right click, new file, and all that kind of stuff. But also in the Windows shell, you can create a file in a similar manner, right? Sometimes it's, I have to call notepad.exe. But inside the shell, you can do all the same operations that you would do in a desktop, often much more efficient. So I made this point last time where if AI has access to the shell, it can navigate and create files for you without having to navigate the abstraction of the graphic user interface, which is kind of the point of this continuation. So one thing I wanna, I wanna show you here is I can also uh, grab the content of a website. So there's a universal binary called uh, curl. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna curl example.com. And what that does is it goes to the website and downloads the code on that website. Um, into your shell and and all of the devices are like Mac Linux they're all going to support that that command or a variation of that command but the the point is is that we often think about going to a browser and typing in example.html but the universal concept behind it is actually just making something called a get request and so curl is the command line utility to perform those get requests to um, to basically grab the HTML code and put it on your device, which is no different than what the browsers do. They often just create more interactive usage use case out of it. So that's a quick introduction to curl and how it works and a little bit more practical knowledge about the terminal. And uh, as we continue, I'll, I'll target different uh, concepts like I showed. But thanks for the, your support on the last video.